Hey, this is Chris Young from HomeKit Geek. Today we're going to look at the LifeX Z strip or Z strip um, with HomeKit. So this is 6.6 .6 meters long. It is 1400 lumens, so it's really bright. 16 million colors. It's got dimming options, eight addressable zones, and it works with Apple, HomeKit, Amazon, Madam A, Google Home, among others. Let's take a look. So this is definitely in the LifeX container. You know it's a LifeX product. It is that cylindrical container, and it is well marked. It is 1,400 lumens. It's bright. It works with Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, Amazon's Madam A Nest, among others. Right? This is a really, really... Um, I, I like the packaging on it. It tells me exactly what it's going to do for me. And as we go inside it, they even start out with a surface cleaning wipe to make sure that when you put these things on you're going to actually have them stick, which is a really important thing. So there is a lot of layers in here. We've got um, a couple of the light strips. We've got the plugs. So let's get that all out of the box. So everything in here that you would expect, this is a North American version. You can see here the plug. Um, this is available in international versions as well. So this is just going to go right into a North American wall socket. And of course, we've got the transformers here that will plug into the electrical plug itself. So this is the control unit and this will go all the way into the, the light strip itself. We've got the HomeKit code here for us, which will allow us to connect this to Apple HomeKit, which is, which is great. And we've got a bunch of little instructions here. So we'll be able to take a look back at those if we really want to and see exactly how all these things go up, how to um, connect them, how to bend them, that you can even cut these if you want to, although definitely read the instructions if you're going to go down that road. As you can see, there is four little connectors here and you simply plug these in. Make sure you've got good contact there. And that is really about it. Um, you just, you connect those in and you're good. Now the light strip as it ships actually ships in two parts. So you can, um, you can definitely use that extension cable here. So if you want the full 6.6 .6 meters, you're going to have to connect them in the middle. And this, as you can see, was super, super simple. These went cleanly together. Absolutely no issues here. Now let's go over to the app and take a look at what that looks like setting this up within the LifeX app. So as this is the first LifeX product I've got with a HomeKit code in it, what I really wanted to do was to go over to HomeKit and try this, uh, try to add this Life strip, um, LifeX strip within the HomeKit normal settings. So let's go over there and try that. So basically, you're going to go into your home, um, your Apple native home app, click on add accessory. And then you're going to scan in that home kids code and this should just work. I'll save you guys the suspense. It didn't. So yeah, sometimes these things happen. Um, I went back over to the Life X app and said connect light and it gives me my little um, instructions here. I couldn't find any home kit lights again. So I'm going to just go through the settings here follow them and it tells us really, really cleanly how to do this. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to go over to our wireless settings on our iPad. We're going to look for that LifeX Z um, unsecured Wi-Fi password or Wi-Fi SSID. You're going to click on that, connect to it, zoom back over to your LifeX app and look at that. It's now going to allow us to push our settings right over. So I am going to uh, not give you guys my Wi-Fi password here. So we're going to blank this out, click connect. And then soon enough, there we go. You can see it is now connecting to the cloud. So I've already got other LifeX products that I'm using. So I've got the uh, the BR30 bulbs as well as the plus the infrared, which are really, really, really bright. They're really vivid bulbs. I'm a big fan of the LifeX products. So we've got this now connected to our cloud. Now we want to connect it to HomeKit. So you can see here that this is not a software generated code. We're going to have to have that the uh, the HomeKit code that we saw earlier on the instructions. And we're just going to click these connect to HomeKit. It's going to connect the lights. OK, it's going to now ask us again for that HomeKit pairing code. We put this in here, a little bit of video magic. I'm not going to make you wait for the whole pairing, which can take 30 seconds or more at some times. There, we're done. We're now connected. So of course, the name here isn't very good. So let's go in and just tap on that and change it to something a little more meaningful. Um, my use case here is I want to put this in my master bedroom and use this with the LifeX applications dusk to dawn feature, basically to help me wake up in the morning. Um, between short Canadian winter days and daylight savings time, 
it gets a little dark around here and it makes it a little harder to wake up in the mornings where I live. So my real purpose here is to have this light come on bright and early in the morning, just as if the sun was making, waking me up every day. All right, that's my use case. So now that we've got these all set up and connected, let's start controlling them and see what these actually look like. So we'll open up the color wheel here and you can see these are really bright. Uh, I, I cannot even tell you guys how bright and vivid these really are. And when we go into the colors, it's really deep, rich colors, which is really awesome. We've also got the ability to do themes, which when I was recording the video, I had a little bit of trouble with. I didn't see what they really did, but it's really the only way you can address those eight zones. And as you can see in the picture, it's kind of cool effect here, full rainbow across the zones within this. We can go through, we can do um, flickering. You can kind of see this thing, hard to see on the image, but you can see that the the color itself is going kind of right and left. And look at this, update firmware. Man, do I love this. I love when vendors really take it seriously and give us the opportunity to get more functionality from their gear. Like, that's awesome. So through Video Magic, I will fast forward us through the upgrade process. Just, uh, there was nothing to see here. It just worked, which again, love it. Love it, love it. So we can color cycle, as you can see here, again, uh, all these effects, really, really cool effects within the um, LifeX app. I love HomeKit, I love what it does, but sometimes the vendor's apps do some really unique things that um, means that we should be really taking a look at them. Look at the speed of this as they color through. Um, again, the video, it's bright, so it's kind of playing with my camera a little bit. It's not actually gonna have this globe effect that you can see around the image right now. We got a, mu a music visualizer here that will actually track the beat of your music and be able to change colors. Uh, really just kind of an amazing product. So for the last part of these demos, I always like to go back over to um, the Apple HomeKit app and show you what this is gonna look like natively in the Apple HomeKit app. But before we do that, I wanna show you one more thing, which is the day and dusk feature, which is available on the LifeX, which is awesome. It simulates the sun coming up or the sun going down. And this is the whole reason I bought it is to allow me to get that sunlight in the morning to wake up naturally um, in the cold, dark Canadian mornings. So let's go take a look at the Apple Home app. So here we are in the master bedroom. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, we have that master bedroom um, Life X master bedroom light strip. Pretty simple. This is a beautiful thing. This is one of the things that I really appreciate about HomeKit. The LifeX is exactly the same as working with the Lutron switch, as a uh, Hue bulb, as a Kugeek bulb, as IKEA bulb, you name it, they're all the same. So that, that consistency, the ability to use in any automation I want between vendors is, is pretty awesome. The thing that you don't get within the Apple native app is you're not going to get the control over those eight zones at least not yet. I don't know if uh, LifeX would ever consider doing that or exposing the eight zones as eight separate bulbs or what that would look like, but you just don't get it today. So that's one thing to be aware of. And with that, subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? The button's right there. Likes are always appreciated. Please check out the video Smart Home Story Simulated Sunrise, which is gonna be the companion to this, showing you what the use case actually is that I'm using for. And if you want to learn how to make your house just a little bit smarter, please check out my Udemy course. There is a coupon code in the notes below.